Here's a hollow piece of straight plastic tube. It's wrapped with electrical windings that create the magnetic field. We pump most all of the air out. Then we inject our fuel into the tube, apply an electrical potential and a magnetic field. This field forces the charged particles toward the center of the tube, creating a small diameter plasma about the size of a garden hose. To prevent the particles from escaping out the ends of the container, we place strong magnetic fields here at each end. These strong magnetic fields act as mirrors. As the particles approach the ends, they face a more powerful magnetic field than the one in the middle. This turns them around, and they bounce back toward the other end in a kind of ping-pong fashion. We call these devices mirror machines. Despite all these considerations, some particles do get lost out the ends. Now, we can design a device that has no ends. We can turn the ends of this tube upon themselves to form a circle or donut. We call this shape a torus. And many research bottles are of such shape, including tokamaks. Theoretically, now the particles should race around and around until they hit some other particles and fuse. Well, it's just not that simple. As fusion researchers have painfully discovered, when we turn this straight tube into a torus, you run into yet another problem. We've compressed the magnetic lines of force much closer together on the inside of the torus, making the field much stronger here on the inside wall than on the outside wall here. Since particles always seek the path of least resistance, they will drift across the magnetic fields toward the outside wall and be lost.